Morning friends, we are just outside of Buffalo um, and we're gonna be heading towards our final destination which is probably the Airbnb, the first Airbnb that we're having for Drift Week 5. And if we're making really good time, uh, we might as well um, go to Jordan and help him fix his car or build his car because he's building uh, an M240 drift car out of nothing. Uh, with a couple days to go for drift week so we'll see how it goes it's about five or six hours to go come with me fuel game let's have a look i'm on 8.9 gallons let's check out the clown shoe She was on 11 gallons for the exact same trip. So, obviously, Brian doesn't have the best aerodynamics. So, that could play a part in it. We are close to Syracuse in a place called Tully, fueling up the cars um, and uh, we're about four hours away from our destination. Um, can't make these videos any more exciting than they are, uh, but I'm definitely getting more and more excited, getting closer to Drift Week, really cool and um, yeah, I want to keep all the dirt on this car, as you guys know, and then uh, clean it and like can't wait to shred with this car as you can see it's a little bit the wrong it's a little bit rubbing with the wrong front tire size but um been, i can't believe how comfortable this car is for driving across the country really really happy with it um and it's nice to so we have these group chats from drift week and there's a lot of guys posting their travel pics to guys that live a little bit closer are on their way uh, almost everybody is trailering their cars of course and there's a couple guys that are driving their cars so really cool and I uh, hope to see all you guys soon So we are not too far from Philadelphia, we're really uh, in the area uh, of Allentown, fueling up the cars. Bizarre rain, like really torrential rain, like you couldn't see much. I was really happy I didn't have the racing tires up in the front. Um, it's a completely different area. Um, it's very lovely though, and like the air is like completely different over here, like you can tell. Uh, maybe it's from the rain, but it's... Uh, really fresh really nice it's not cold at all as you can see i'm in my t-shirt um i don't know it's like 65 70 degrees um yeah this is such a great uh, road trip still so nice to catch all these states all their little differences and uh lovely 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 Airbnb? Yep. Oh, that's cool. What's this town called, though? Belmar. Belmar? Wow. Airbnb is really cool. It doesn't look so big on the outside, but it is massive on the inside. Um, and look at our cars. Like, they look really dirty, but not cool dirty as I expected. It's just like a dirty car. Um, well, the rain washed a lot of like the cool desert dirt off, I guess. Brian's is always dirty, so it doesn't really matter <laughs> much. But yeah, so this is what 19 or 20 states of traveling looks like. 
cool stuff. We're just gonna clean these cars though. One of my favorite things about these trips is of course the Airbnbs. Check this place out real quick. Welcome to our beach house, really nice. Oh, Brian's here as well. That's so convenient. It's a cool place. Two bedrooms on the lower floor. Uh, bathroom, really cool, nice open kitchen. Massive place over here, massive living. Like you really wouldn't tell from the outside, it was this fucking massive. Here's also a nice patio kind of thing that we can hang out and chill. Lovely garden. Very nice. I feel like I'm doing one of those episodes for realtors or something. Another bedroom here. Another bedroom here with cool ships. Bathroom. Another make makeshift bedroom and a, a big bedroom which has like multiple beds in each corner. So that's our little crib for the first leg of Drifty 5. This car did so awesome during this trip. Really cool. Um, let's look at how dirty that is. Like in the video, it's hard to tell, but it's like super filthy. Never been this dirty in, in my ownership. It's been like running like clockwork for a whole week of intense driving. Perfect. So we are in New Jersey in a place called Belmar. It's a really nice little um, coastal uh, town. Uh, looks really nice. Again, very different from everywhere else we've been. Um, but yeah, it has a good vibe. It's pretty warm. It's 80 degrees over here. Um, yeah, and it seems to be like um, a land of lifted trucks and modified trucks and things like that. So that's always cool to me. It looks like a really nice little uh, town, obviously completely different than uh, on the West Coast. So really nice. And we're going to get some food, get some uh, laundry done. And let's see if we can link up with people at the track. Usually the first day is for like people arriving and getting like their trailers parked and stuff and it's like never like the nicest day it's just uh everybody's a little stressed out everybody's a little tired so um we're ahead of schedule we have our stuff together just gonna clean the car which looks really dirty um, from all the struggling may not look as dirty in the video but it's, it's very very filthy um so we're gonna be cleaning the cars and then see if we link up with some people tonight or tomorrow and we made it to the beach. Look at that, really cool. It kind of reminds me of, um, of a really old, like uh, a little children's book that we had. I think it was about a Donald Duck or something. And a little Donald Duck uh, nephews are staying with them with their grandma at the beach or something. And it's like that house looked exactly like these houses with a big porch. And uh, the beach right over there, so it's really cool. It's kind of what it reminds me of, like houses like that, really cool. Um, yeah, I like that uh, smell of the sea over here, like, uh, yeah, really nice. Nice and quiet as well, like over here in Europe, it will be super crazy crowded, like having just a road next to the beach, but here it's like, look, you can park in here. So it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, let's check it out. Let's get some food, I'm starving. Made it, bro. Made it to the beach. Made it to Jersey Shore, I guess. It's lovely. Wristbands must be worn beyond this point. Missed that memo. why I always say beach week like I've never been to the beach as much as I've been to the beach on drift week for some reason of course I had to go to Aruba for the, for the other drift weeks um, but for some reason I always end up at the beach uh, during the drift week um, so yeah that's uh, that's kind of cool 
really nice, very different beach than uh, other parts of America, of course. I'm really fucking starving. I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna. Can we get some food, please? Don't forget to take a look at our website as well, einzel.nl. We ship worldwide, of course, Wisefab, Feel Suspension, our own brand Einzel, gearboxes, quick change differentials, axles, all kinds of things. A lot of fabrication components, of course, air jacks, subframes for quick change, you name it. Drop us an email and we'll hook you up.